Hey guys, so today I'm going to do an everyday cream contour tutorial video. Um, this is going to be something, it's not very over the top, it's not going to be dramatic, it's not going to be all boom in your face, chiseled cheekbones sort of thing. Um, so yeah, this is just what I would do with my contour if I was like going grocery shopping or something like that. So yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to start out with a little bit of concealer just under the eyes. We're not going to do anything too dramatic. A little goes a long way. Since this is just an everyday look, we don't want the over-the-top highlighting that you might see in other YouTube videos. Then I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty sponge. And I like to bring my highlighting out up on the cheekbone. And for this I am using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And just really quickly before that creases or anything, I'm go going to go in with the Makeup Forever HD Translucent Powder to set that. I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and stuff, so my concealer creases pretty quickly if I don't set it with a powder. Okay, and then we're going to go in with the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. And this is the one, the Fair, the newest uh, one that she came out with. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty. I use it a lot. Um, the highlight shades aren't my favorite, but I love the contour shades. Um, we're not going to use the highlight shades today, I just use the uh, NARS concealer. Um, whenever I'm doing a more dramatic or glam look, I will use these highlighters, but for an everyday wear, they are kind of cakey and just not all that great. Um, but I feel like cream contour is really good for a natural look, um, especially just going in with this lightest shade. I'm just going to go in with a flat synthetic brush and just get a little bit of the lightest shade. Tuck it right under my cheekbone and draw it forward. Then I'm going to take a little more of that same color and put it, I have like a lot of baby hairs right here, but that's basically right in the temple is where you're going to want to put this. You want to deposit the most color with both up by the hairline so that it blends out properly. I'm also going to take a little bit of that same fair shade. Color name is Fawn. And just do a little bit of nose contour. This definitely isn't something that you have to do every day, it's just something that I like to add because it's fairly quick and easy. So yeah. And for this cream contour kit, I prefer to blend it out with a brush as opposed to the beauty blender like I used for the concealer. So I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just to buff all of that out. You want to really buff it up into the hairline so that it doesn't look out of place. And for my nose contour, to blend that out, I'm just going to take this little firm, fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush and just blend that down the sides. That is the basics of that. I'm going to go back in and highlight just a little bit more. Again with the concealer rather than the highlighting shades in that cream contour shade. Just going to add just a teeny bit, not this like huge thing that you see in other videos. A little bit down the bridge of the nose. 
a little bit on the top of the cupid's bow and a teeny bit on the tip of the chin and blend that out with the sponge with the bridge of the nose since you just contoured you don't want to like blend this out and ruin that sharp line that you got i like to just press the concealer into the nose basically And just to bring a little bit more lightness under my eyes, I am going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I know this is not cream, but I'm just going to use this powder right here to basically go back over where I set with my translucent powder. I'm going to use the middle shade Lyric right there. And then to finish off our highlighting, I'm going to go in with Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Moonstone. And I love my highlighters. I love glowing like a disco ball. And so I will just put that all over. Starting tops of the cheekbones, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow teensy bit on the chin and forehead but be careful because that can make you look like an oil slick and just to finish off the face we're gonna go in with Tarte's Amazonian clay 12-hour blush in the shade ecstatic just a light peachy nude color on a real technique stippling brush and there we go so that was my everyday cream contour. I, I hope that I helped you out any, and I will see y'all next week.